everybody, welcome back today guys to the channel Top 10 Drifts of the Week is back on this Friday, man. Now, first and foremost, last week, huge thank you to everybody that did come around for that episode. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, I screwed up, man. I called an FD and FC. Everybody roasted me in the comment section. I tried to get back to as many people as possible just so that you guys didn't think I was absolutely stupid. But I do know my RX-7s out there. You know, just a, just a screw up, man. I made a mistake. I got lost in the sauce, unfortunately. Hopefully, everybody did enjoy their week. If you guys did miss on the channel, I posted up a vlog. Uh, it's been quite some time since I've done anything like that, so that is found in the most recent uploads on the channel. But I'm excited though, right? I mean, this whole next coming few months, we have Forza Horizon 4 very, very close to approaching us. We have Forza Motorsport 7 with the brand new Drift Angle Kit. It's a good year for Forza players. I'm very excited to see what does come in the next coming months. We have a Need for Speed Underground 2 throwback right here. It really does show you the physics engine at play for the drifting with low horsepower cars. I really like this clip. Just nostalgia, man. That is the biggest thing. I wish Need for Speed went back to these physics that were on the Underground series. I personally think they were the best in the series. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. We had Travis IS300 with a massive reverse entry on Forza Horizon 3 out here in the airport section. We also had Benny Blanco 21 limo entry on Silverstone right now. Reverse entry with the angle kit. And these are the runs that I'm looking for on this series. You know, just unique something different obviously you know Silverstone uh, I feel like we haven't ran Silverstone a little bit and you guys will see it in this week's top 10 finally back I don't think I've posted up a Silverstone clip in quite some time I could be wrong I think I probably just used one a couple damn weeks ago but it doesn't matter right I mean we used it quite a bit it got overused and then it's been kind of you know absent so um, you know it's really cool to see that whole angle kit bringing back and you know kind of bringing back Forza Life I'm very excited for this week's lineup ladies and gentlemen top 10 drifts of the week you guys don't know how to send in your clips, it's very simple. Upload your clips to YouTube, either public or unlisted, to the email address down below with the template. Fill that all in, send it off to me, and you too could be in top 10 drips of the week. Starting us off, number 10 this week, we have Dirt Rally Man, ASPA BG, going from 6th gear to a reverse 360, dropping into 2nd, hitting the hairpin with style. I really like this clip for its just uniqueness. I don't think I've seen anybody throw it that hard on this game for quite some time. We do have a replay angle as well to go with that. Really nice car control, knew exactly what he was doing. It's all wheel drive, but at the end of the day though, it's a sick clip. Had to toss it in for top 10. Let me know your thoughts down below. Should all wheel drives be allowed in the top 10 countdown? It's all for fun, right? So I mean, who really cares at the end of the day? Number nine, Mr. 95X with a crazy reverse jump drift up Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca in his Dodge Viper. I respect the clip for just something totally different. I have never seen anybody attempt that on the reverse uphill jump drift, but he does hold it and he's gonna go with a nice little freestyle line all the way down. I don't know if he got lucky on that, I'm not too sure, but he got enough air to clear the sand to allow him to get speed over the jump drift. I like that clip and I definitely did. Number eight, we got Stabs coming in, R32, Coming down Road Atlanta on the very last corner, he's going to toss it very, very hard. But keep in mind, though, look at the pylons. Absolutely perfect entry by him right here. Just keeping it clean, keeping it controlled, and making sure he doesn't create more work for the people working at the track. Right? I mean, nobody wants to be picking up pylons, man. That's all I'm saying. And that was a set of course and not Forza. Right? I mean, just a little timbit on that. Number seven, L Ford's Hot Rod with a really nice wall ride that takes off this man. Spoiler, we're at Bernie's Alps, obviously high speed, high angle corners out here, and he definitely does make the most of these banks. He's right here, just keeping his foot nice and easy on the throttle, making sure not to lift, does tap it, loses the wing. Job well done in my personal opinion. I mean, that's all I'm saying. Number six, boosted 427 TSI Logics again, right? I mean, I know they're here on Catalonia about to throw some nasty tandems. I asked them last week to send in some clips with their brand new angle kit mods, and they have definitely delivered for today. Just getting nice and close. TSI doing a really great job just, you know, trying to keep that proximity nice and clean. That's a very, very long sweeping corner out there, that first one that they came in. So, you know, it's nice to see them coming into this section still really close together. We're going to see how close he gets coming on this. This is a tight section. you got to be perfect. Both holding it down. No lifting out here. That's one of the biggest things. He's got fourth gear uphill right now. 
not bad. He's probably pushing, what, 650 horsepower or so, I want to say. Would have liked to see a little bit tighter on the exit of this last couple corners right here. But nonetheless, a great run by both drivers. I'm sure as the weeks go on, we're going to see better and tighter tandems with these angle kits. We had Analog with a really nice Assetto Corsa solo run. He's actually driving his beautiful FD, not an FC, right? I told you I screwed up. I know my RX-7's out here. He's actually on the Akita Mountain Pass, and he's doing a hill climb, and he's getting very, very close to these inside rails right here. Just absolutely millimeters to spare, holding it perfectly. Those carbon Kevlar in the back. I like it, man. I was actually going to pick up some carbon Kevlar brides. They're like three grand. I think I'll pass it right now. Number four, Forza Motorsport 7. We have Taco Man with a beautiful tandem run here on Road Atlanta. Another Road Atlanta track coming in. Just beautiful with the angle kit. There's a lot of new things that can be done this time around with these angle kits. And I'm excited to test out different cars, different tracks, revisit tracks that I haven't played in a long time. And that's the whole thing about this angle kit is that it just gave the game life once again. Now, in your personal opinion, who won this battle? Personally, I got to give it to the BMW. I seen the RX-7 drop a tire on that outer horseshoe. I don't know if you did or not. Let me know down below. Myself. Number three, XE Team coming in with a huge team tandem. We have Roxy, Minty, Fresh, Live Fast, and So Mystified. Four heavy hitters on this, and I would really love to see more clips coming in with these guys with this angle kit. They're on the rain, and Minty Fresh did tell me that this was one of their first runs in the rain with these cars. So they didn't really get to tune too much with the angle kit. And that's how good these guys are, right? I mean, they can drive and drift anything that they do touch. So huge thank you for sending that in. Number two this week, TGC, Mako, and Ash of Anarchy. We have a beautiful run on Magello right now. Just absolute doors with a beautiful finish to this clip. We have in the R34, we have Mako, and in the M4, we have Ash of Anarchy, Magello Circuit. These guys are good and definitely would love to see more clips from these two. Really close on the proximity, on the angles, and they both end up tapping the wall on this clip and we do have a first person in car view we are riding along currently in that beautiful r34 mako and they're going to be getting some really nice angle through a lot of these corners just really nice consistency on the transitions the speed as well too you know they're roughly about 68 or so and with that angle kick coming in they are getting gigantic angle around this last corner and just able to stretch it completely out all the way to the wall both of them tapping for a nice little double wall tap entry, man. I like that. Number one, though, there's got to be one. Live for Speed Tandems, YS Swift, Babu, and 2J coming through with a beautiful three-man run here on Mihan. And they're going to be tossing it very, very aggressively on this. And I like this clip strictly because of the fact that they're all three of them coming inches to each other on that entry right there. That is a very high speed, high angle, high control. That's a very difficult entry to do. And then they just follow up by linking the entire track and that is going to be your top 10 for today man huge thank you to everybody for sending in your clips if you think you can do better well the link and template will be found down below fill them out send them in for next week's episode ladies and gentlemen countdown is done did you agree with it did you disagree with it where would you have put the 10 for this week our montages though we have kd drawings link will be found down below for this man he came through with a very nice speed art and i don't know about you but i love watching speed arts i love them watching you know, sped up and just seeing the detail and how these works of art are actually made because it is a very fascinating thing to watch very very satisfying as well to see it done by a professional but link will be found down below for this huge thank you for sending this in kb and uh, his link will be found down below check him out we also had another one here from lukak 26 with an Assetto corsa ae86 montage really nice had you know almost an initial d style vibe to it it was about maybe like three to four minute run and it was just a consistent flow of camera angles and you know it's always nice to watch those cinematic angles in place sometimes they did a great job linking them all together that'll be found down below ladies and gentlemen huge thank you like i said for coming around Time is valuable. We just spent 10 minutes, right? I mean, I appreciate it. Huge thank you once again. Don't forget to slap that like button. I'll see you guys back here for another episode of Top 10 Drifts. I'm out. Peace.